Gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another Terra console video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a beginner's guide on crystals. Now, what crystals are, they're basically buffs for your character's weapon and armor. Now, I'm going to talk strictly about beginner style crystals, meaning only for this specific guide, I'm only going to be talking about the basic four crystals for your weapon and the basic four for your armor. I'll get more into, you know, the green crystals and the more advanced stuff later on in higher tier guides. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and talk about it. So, when it comes to crystals, your weapon and your chest piece, well, I don't even know if we can call it a chest piece. Basically, your full, your chest and leg and leg gear, which is technically your, your outfit, can each hold four crystals that will give your character different, you know, stat buffs and things like that. Now, a lot of the times you're going to want to have, um, you're going to want to have buffs that are basically coherent to your class. So, you know, let's say, let's, let's we're going to use my mine for example. Me, I'm personally going to want to get things that are based on, you know, more damage output, critical hit rate, and stuff like that. And since I'm a melee class, I'm probably going to want to use more blue crystals that are, um, more based on, like, you know, defense, giving me more HP and stuff like that. Now, the thing with um, with these crystals is, and I'll go ahead and uh, unequip some of mine so I can give you guys some examples here, is um, they're going to come in, well, three different colors, but right now we're only going to talk about blue, two specific colors, strictly red and blues. Red are going to be more offense-based crystals. Blue is going to be more defensive and buff um, kind of crystals and I say buff because they don't just a lot of these don't just give you you know defensive things they do all kinds of all kinds of different stuff but we're gonna go through some of my crystals here and I'm gonna tell you guys just you know what exactly what exactly these things these things do for you so we're gonna find one find a good old one here for an example well, let's take a look at this blue stackable and it tells you may be destroyed upon death the thing about these crystals is they're good but when you die there is a there is a chance that they can be destroyed usually they are destroyed when when you die so you do want to get you know your hands on some crystal binds and stuff like that especially once you hit end game early game i'm going to say don't worry about it too much because you get a ton of these early game as you guys can see i'm still questing and i have plenty of these sitting in my inventory and especially for the simple fact that every NPC and their mom are selling these, you know, left and right. I wouldn't stress them too much, you know, if you die here in their early game. That's just my my personal my personal opinion. But as you guys can see, like I was saying, my blue one here, my fine hardy hexage, I got four of those. Reduces damage from monsters by 5.4%. Since I'm a melee class and, you know, I'm prone to being close up doing close combat, they're probably, a, you know, a good crystal for me to have, but... For my specific class, there are also ones that can give me things like MP regeneration and stuff like that. And for later on, you know, for higher higher content, that's definitely going to be, you know, something more beneficial for me. But um, as you level up, these crystal slots here on the side that are both on, you know, your your um, armor and your weapon, they're going to open up even, even more. You're going to start, when you start the game, I believe you only have two unlocked on each side. And then as you level up... You'll have three on each side, and then you'll have all four slots on, on each side. But basically what you do is you equip these into your weapons and armor. So you guys see how I have this plus nine weapon on right now, and this other glutton's vest chest piece. Well, when I equip these crystals, while I have those two equipped, these crystals are going to go specifically into those two pieces of gear. So for example, I'm going to put the four hardy hexages on this chest piece, but if I go and unequip this chest piece, those crystals go with it. So be careful of that. Whenever you go to like sell old gear, because you know maybe you need some spare gold or you just don't need it anymore, or dismantle it, always take your crystals out before you do so. And as you guys can see, when I put put the chest piece back on, it brings the crystals back back with it. Now we'll talk about the offensive crystals. These things can give you all kinds of stuff. Anything from aggro generation for tanks. Higher critical rates, more range damage, more um, melee damage. There's all kinds of different things that these um, offensive crystals can um, can do. And also another cool thing that you can do, as I'll be showing you guys, is you can actually combine these together to make 
one crazy crystal. Now, the thing is, um, I personally don't know if there's any set recipes to make specific crystals. If there is, feel free to correct me in the comments below. But what I do is, when I'm when I'm making one, and I'll show you guys how to do that in a minute, is um, I always just combine three random crystals just to see what I get. Like me personally, I have fun with it. I enjoy seeing, you know, what the hell kind of um, crazy crystal combination I can make. So let's, let's try an example here. We're going to take some of these fine bitter hex, um, hexages and go to Crystal Fusion. When you come over here to Crystal Fusion, you guys will see that there's three slots on here. One, two, three. Those three are going to represent the three crystals you stick in. So let, let, let's let's make something nice and tasty. The fine pounding crux increases damage to monsters by 7.8%. Hell yeah, we're going to throw that bad boy in there. Um, increases the chance to crit by 3%. We'll put that in there as well. What else can we use? Is there anything else we can use? Ah, crap. We don't have any. We don't have any more crystals that we can combine. But anyway, what would happen is we would put three crystals in here fuse them and would make one crazy crystal now just because um just because you made a crystal with three different kinds it doesn't mean it's always going to have the same stat bonuses as the three crystals you put it put in it so for example let's say you take three crystals that give you you know a seven percent damage increase that doesn't mean you're going to come out with a crystal that gives you a 21 percent damage increase it's going to have random stats you know something that um that could be a combination or something completely different. It all depends on the crystals that you throw inside of that crystal fusion. But um, as we were discussing before, the same thing goes just like with the armor, with the weapons. Whatever red crystals you decide to put inside your weapons, like I'm going to put these four fine bitter pennants right here into, into my sword. Well, not four of them because I can only use one. But I'll put another fine savage in there. And then a fine focused. Okay, I can't use that either. Alright, I'll throw a fine bitter hexage in there. I know I don't want aggro because I'm a DPS, but I'm just using it for an example. If I go and unequip my weapon, those crystals also come with that weapon. So guys, once again, like I said earlier in the video, make sure, make sure you take your crystals out whenever you're going to sell a weapon or piece of armor, dismantle it, or whatever. But anyway, guys, save up your crystals. Um, try some crystal infusions. Let me know what kind of crazy combinations you all come up with. But you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.